Welcome to Shiny Hunting AFK 101. We're going to show you guys how you can get some shinies into your game, into your party, into your collection, without even having to be there playing the game. You're going to be able to do the little setup, and you're going to be able to start getting those shinies without actually having to look at your game or anything. You'll be able to just go off and do coffee, come back, and perhaps have a shiny in front of you. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Special thanks, as always, goes to Sukurato Games for all these cool locations. He's been putting in the grinding, trying to find all these really nice locations for us to use to get easy shinies. And this is one of them. However, this, unlike the other ones, can be done automated. And the precise location in question is right here outside of the Team Star camp. You'll want to come from East Province Area 3 Poker Center. Just go a little bit west and come to the entrance. Literally the entrance. And this is where you want to be. This is where the magic happens. Between this tree and this tree right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to eat a dragon sandwich. For 30 minutes, we're going to increase our dragon encounters and our shiny spawns. We're also going to go ahead and use Maridon here too, because Maridon, our Coridon, will get the job done for this. You'll see what I mean in a sec. That is quite a slope. How did we manage to pull off a picnic on this? Wow. Okay, well, anyway, I'll take it. Either way, make a sandwich. The dragon recipe, as always, is just avocado and two salties. And as you can see, I'm using the simple ingredients because I have enough salties to get away with it. You guys are totally free to use more complicated ingredients if you want, and it just it's a little more complicated, but it gives you more freedom on what herbs you use. So either way, I'm doing this. Avocado, two salties. Let's go ahead and get those boosts. That snag is a sparkling power, tile power, and counter power, all level three for dragon type, and that is it. So now what we're gonna do is the next phase. So at this point, guys, once you've done that, you can come over to this tree right here, and you're gonna see an unlimited spawns of those applins on the tree. You can see it on the tree right there. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and farm them, but it's gonna be automatic. So we're gonna knock the tree first. We're gonna come back here a little bit, and we're gonna use R to auto start doing those applins. If my Maridon would get on that, that'd be great. Okay, he'll start doing that by himself. Once he figures out where it is. And now we wait. Now we can put my controller down. And he'll just start knocking them off the tree all by himself. And I don't have to do anything. I don't have to do any resets. I don't have to do nothing. All we have to do is wait for our shiny. And we'll be able to see it on the tree. If you want to wait and watch, you can. He won't attack shinies, of course, because the game mechanic prevents your Let's Go Pokemon from actually attacking or killing any shinies. It's a pretty decent consideration. I'll see you in 30 minutes. Did we get it? Oh, we did! You can see it it's shiny in the tree. So yeah, he'll just stop when it's time. When you get the shiny, you can actually see the shiny in the tree like that. That's so good. That's so nice. I love that. Alright, well, now all we have to do is get it. So we can put away our Pokemon and get it ourselves. Hold on, we have to ram the tree properly. Alright. Here he goes. There he is. There's our buddy. Nice. That's so cool, man. Alright, well there is our first shiny. And it hasn't been that long. Let's have a look at the summary see if we've got a mark on him. Uh, he doesn't. He doesn't have a mark. That's okay. But we still have loads of time on our sa on our sandwich left. How much time have we got? Yeah, we got like over 10, over 20 minutes left. So we're just going to go rinse repeat because of course they're going to continue to spawn for the rest of the sandwich. Just do it. Just do it all over again. Do keep in mind, guys, if you're only caring about getting one shiny per sandwich, you can just go AFK and come back and have a look at the apple on the tree. See if it's a shiny. And then if it is, well done. If it isn't, you're just going to have to reset your game and do it, do it again. It's super easy, but it doesn't take you any time to do it. So this is the shiny of the day. This was 30 minutes. It actually took me about, what, 8 minutes to get him. He's right there. It's pretty nice. Completely automated. And guys, another tip as well. If you want to, you can just have your sound on or you can be able to try and hear it because you'll be able to hear if your Maridon or Coridon has a, a weird noise or just stops attacking the apples. You'll be able to tell and then you'll be able to just check the tree to see if there's a shiny there and then go ahead and get it. So you'll be able to tell the difference of what happens. It's just easy because you don't have to look at your game that way. Either way, Applin can evolve into two different Pokemon. Flapple, which is a little bit of a faster attacker, and then Appleton, which is more of a bulky attacker. You need two different items to evolve into either one of those, and you can buy those in La Vincia, in the Deli Bird Presence, right near the Poke Center. The Deli Bird Presence is right over here. And you will have to have gotten your third gym badge to be able to get these, but 
in here. You'll be able to find them in general goods. There they are. So sweet apple and tart apple. And as you can see, I have one sweet apple, but I can just buy a tart apple. It doesn't really matter which one you get. They're 2,200. Inflation, you know. All right, so let's go ahead and use one. So there they both are, right up there. Uh, the tart apple will get you the flapple, and the sweet apple will get you the apple ton. So also, you can also pick which one you prefer based off of their looks. Let's try the tart apple, since I didn't have one, I just bought it. We'll go ahead and use it on our apple in right now. And we can see this green apple evolve. Beautiful. It's that easy. Bam! Yeah, uh, this one is the better one. This, <laughs> this one looks way cooler. All right, we got our flapple. Shiny. Wing attack as well. Nice. So that is it. That is our first method for automatically shiny hunting without having to be at your game. You can be AFK to do it. I think it's a pretty sweet method as well. It definitely will net you folks a shiny. You don't even have to use sandwiches, of course. So if you guys are just going to do it AFK anyway, you might as well just not bother using a sandwich if you don't have the herbit to spend because you'll be able to do it multiple times and just get your hands on a shiny that way pretty handy drop a sub if you're new and i'll see you around in the next video feel free to check out the others for other shiny hunting methods to hone in on the shinies you're looking for and i'll see you around in the next one till then bye